God's judgment on sin and wickedness. Remember that we are in this earth. We are not from this earth. Do you understand me? We are in this earth, but we are not from this earth. We are just a traveler who came to live here. Where are we from? We are from the other side of the kingdom. Eventually, we will live one day. If you think that your life that you are living here on earth will be permanent, you are just joking. I want you to know that one day, every one of us will be called to show forth our work. If we say truly we are serving God, let it show. Let it reflect. Let people see it that truly this one is God. Revelation chapter 5 from verse 1 to verse 5. He said, then I saw a scroll in the right hand of the one who was sitting on the throne. But in that scroll, nobody was able to open it, to read it. No man on earth, no man in heaven, no man beyond the earth was able to carry the crow, to break the seal and to read it. They were looking for people who would do that. They were looking for men that would do it. Nobody was able to do it. Then I saw a scroll in the right hand of the one who was sitting on the throne. There was writing on each side and the outside of the scroll. And it was sealed with what? Seven. How many? They put seven seals. So nobody was able to break one seat or even read. So they were looking for people that would do that. Even in the earth, no man was qualified. In heaven, nobody was qualified. Beyond the earth, nobody was qualified. And I saw a strong angel who shouted with a voice, with a loud voice, who is worthy to break the sea on this scroll and open it. Who be the person? Who can help us now to break the seal and open the scroll and read it for us? We don't know what is there. But no one in heaven, the whole of heaven, where in the Gabriel day, where in the market day, where the whole of heaven day, nobody in heaven or on earth or under the earth was able to open the scroll and read it. So, it was time for us to cry. It was time for them to weep. Who will help us out? Brother, there is nothing great that we come to a man without sacrifice. High level of anointing requires high level of sacrifice. Every manifestation, there are sacrifices to be paid. In heaven, on earth, beyond the earth, nobody was qualified to take this scroll, broke the seal, and to read it. He said, but one of the 24 elders said to me, who are the 24 elders? There are 24 elders in heaven who sit down, who look at the affairs in heaven. He said, why he was crying, why he was weeping, that nobody was able to, to, to take the scroll, to break the seal, and to read it. He said, but one of the 24 elders, one among them, called him and said, what happened? And said, stop weeping. Look, the lion of a tribe of Judah, the heir of David's stone, has won the victory. Has what? Has won the victory. He is worthy to open the scroll and, he, and the seventh seal. The man who paid that sacrifice to do that. And he's telling you now, this is how I want us to live. See that? This is what I want you to do. This is what I want you to fought be for me. This is what the life I want you to live. Still yet, still yet, you refuse to hear. I will see how you will stand before him that day to tell him sorry. The Bible says it's only worse 
is appointed unto man once to die. Then after death, judgment. Sir, listen to me, church. The only way you can ask God for forgiveness, you, are, you can ask God for mercy, is when you are alive. The soul that did not serve God, the man that refused to follow God, the person that refused to follow the step of Christ, how will he have rest? How will he have peace? When he's dead. The mercy can only speak when you are alive. When you are dead, no way. What in this are the book? Let us see. And as I washed the lamp, broke the force of the seventh seal on the scroll, then I had one of the four living things. Four living beings says with a voice like thunder, come. As he broke the force, he the something told me. He said, come, 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 come. And I followed. In the next verse. And I followed. And I looked up and I saw a white horse standing there. It's right that carried a bow. And a crown was placed on his head. He ride out to win many battles. He ride out to win many battles and to gain victory. So he gave us the motto to gain victory. He gave us power to give victory. That is about one. That was it there. So as a Christian, by the special grace of God, you are anointed to be victorious in battle. That is what are you saying? Yes, as a believer, in case you don't know who you are, I am telling you now that you are anointed to win battles of life. That is to say, if you know who you are, Sometimes battles of life may compel you to submit. Sometimes battles of life may compel you to, to say, ah, God, not there. He said, no. He said, he gave you victory. He gave victory. He gave you victory. I look up and I saw a white horse standing there. It right that carry a bow. A crown was placed on his head. That is the one who um, Jesus opened his eyes to see. The rider carried a bow and a crown was his head. He rode out to win many battles and to gain victory. That is one. What is all? The next verse. Can we read? When the lamb broke the second seal, how many seeds do we have? Good. When the lamb broke the second seal, I had the second living being say, Come. Then I follow again. The next verse. Then another horse appeared, a red one. The first one was white. Then this one was red. Oh, this one is red. It appeared a red one. Its rider was giving mighty sword. To do what? And to mighty sword and the authority to do what? To take away peace from where? Are you with me? Do we have peace today? You said. We get peace today for it. What did God reveal to to John? Now seven seal we are in number two. Can we read again? Then another us appear, a red one. It's right that was giving a mighty sword. When they taste what they do, what do you use what for? To fight. A mighty sword and the authority to do what? To take away peace from the earth. And there was war and slaughter everywhere. What is happening today? War and slaughter. Are you with me? So understand that these are the things God said. Today, kill is everywhere. God, fight against God. Shootings and kill is everywhere. Not only in Nigeria, all over the world. It is what God said. Now, me write Bible. 
So Jesus said, when you see these things, understand that his coming is close. When you are seeing all these signs, understand that it is a sign of end time. Today, Israel, Pakistan. Next tomorrow, is yeah, yeah, um, God and the other country. The other day, see, the other day, different war everywhere, slaughter. Is that what the Bible said? That was the second scene. When the lamp broke the third seal. I heard the third living being say, come. Then I follow. I look up and I saw a black horse. And his rider was holding a pair of scale in his hand. Now, this scale means balance. If you want to buy turkey, what do they use? If you want to buy chicken, what do they use? On any rubber, where you want to buy rice or market, where do they Not be rubber. What do they call it? Measurement. Measurement. So he said the toad see when he was broken, he saw a man, an angel, who holds scale. So everything you want to buy must be scale. You want to buy. So now today he start. Why are they use scale? They buy turkey. Why are they use scale? They buy chicken. Why are they use scale? They buy rice. Now today he start. It's the shooting. And he went ahead and said something in the next verse. Quickly. He said, I heard a voice from among the four living beings say, a loaf of wheat, a loaf of wheat bread, or three loaf of barley will cost a day's pay. Anything you buy, bread, rubber of Gary, it must be the money you walk in the hill of the day for money tonight. And you want to buy one loaf of bread. So, in other words, things will get tough and tough. Now, say, "Eke my ye na kere my ye me." No, e de o e di gba sen my ye na. I think cheap in the market. I think cheap in the market. They are very costly, abi. Do you know what it means for somebody to walk from morning to night, and you are using to buy just one rubber of gari? Those that we saw, sister, are those who are planting the Christ. Those that we succeed are those who genuinely follow God. Who does not see forth from the people of God. Who does not compare, complain about church, about pastor, about members. But focus only on God. When the Lord broke the fourth sea, I heard the fourth living being say, come. So that I went. The next verse. I looked up and I saw a horse whose color was pale like green. Its rider was named. What did be the name? Death and what? Death and his companion was what? Which is death and grief. Death and grief. Thy angel carry come. The sea, where they, where they find who want break and they read the day. See what they said. No wonder they are dead everywhere. The other one said he came to remove by his mighty power, remove the, 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 the peace away from the earth. Now, death and grief. His rider was named Death and his companion was Grave. These two were given authority over one fourth of the earth to kill with sword and famine and disease and white animals. To kill what? <laughs> they share the whole earth into four. They share the whole world into four. Say one part will die by others ones. One fourth of the earth to kill with sword. To kill with famine, with his hunger. To kill with disease. No wonder HIV come. No cure for it. To kill with white animal, lion will eat some. Lion, uh, wolf will eat some. Bear will eat some. We kill so many. Some of the video we are seeing in the internet that uh, lion kill, uh, wolf kill, um, bear kill. Many of them are real. It is spoken. Now, are you with me? Yes, sir. Many they were hungry go kill. 
Not because say that, let's see, because God took him. Many days we go die by sword. Sword can be bullet. Sword can be battle ass. Sword can be cutlass. Sword can be matchet. God, look at And many days we go die by disease. And many days we bears, lions, white animal we attack. They were looking for who to open the seal. They, they have seen now who opened the seal for them and read to them what is written there. When I had opened the fifth sea, I saw under the altar the souls of them that were slain. Why? For the work of God and for their testimonies which they they killed them. Why? Why? Pastor, no? Why, why the fifth keep pastor? Why the fifth kill that believer? Why? They're not, they're not supposed to keep pastor now. Pastor not get angel. Pastor not get protect, those where they protect her. Why pastor not call God the way Elijah called God? Look at God said they died. Why did they die? Because of the gospel. Because of the faith they believe in. I who are here, am I ever well? Who will hear out of God? The fire, the arrow, the fire. He has only penetrated. He has not killed you. You don't give no God. You don't give bad name to God. Now, people, maybe this one will die for the gospel. What have you seen that you are insulting God? What have you seen that you want to turn back on God? They shouted to the Lord and said, Oh, sovereign Lord, holy and true, how long before you will judge the people who belong to this world? And avenge our blood for what they have done to us. God, how long will you keep quiet? The people who believe who belong to this world who never know that you exist. But they go to God, they go to church, but they never know that God exists. They go to church, they, they know that there is church, they know that there is God, but they, they have not had an encounter with Jesus. Listen to me. The reason why God has not judged. There are numbers of people he's waiting for, he's looking for. When the number correct, trumpet will sound. And white robes were given unto every one of them. And it was told unto them that they should rest yet for a little season until their fellow servant also and their brethren that should be killed as they were should be fulfilled. Why are they? <laughs> Why are they? Sometimes you go, we go deep to scripture. When the numbers go white, it's for free. It's complete. Trumpet will sound. So those who were killed as Christians, those who were killed as believers, he said they have not, the numbers he want has not complete. So more are to be killed as Christians. More are to be killed as believers. Say, but when the number is concluded, fulfilled, you know what to do. Sir, hellfire is not the place where we should be. I am begging us. Give man le be married with me. Let us know what we are doing. I watched as the Lamb broke the sixth seal. And there was a great earthquake. The soul became as dark as black. As black cloth. And the moon became as red as blood. If you get to this level, you don't finish. You just come outside. Suddenly, you see the same moon, don't red. You don't, you don't, you don't, uh, sorry, at this there now. Black. Sorry, son, you come black. Sun was supposed to give you brightly. It became dark. And the moon, what? Become as blood. No need, no need. If you are not repented that time, no need. Because immediately it happened. I felt that trumpet will follow. Then the stars of the, of the sky fell to the earth like griffith falling from the tree, shaken by a, a strong wind. The next verse. The sky was rolled up like a scroll, and all of the mountains and highlands. We are moved from their place. Mountain and highland shifted. The 
high mountain that you are seeing shifted. Highland, they shifted to one side. He rolled like a carpet. What a mighty God. And the kings of the earth, and the great men, and the rich men, and the chief captains, and the mighty men, and every, every bond man, and every free man, hide themselves in where? In them, and in the rock of the mountain. Mountain where they already row. Rock where they already met. Where you want to hide? And they cry to the mountain and to the rock. They say, fall on us and hide us from the face of the one who sit on the throne and from the rod of the lamb. Who is the lamb? Jesus. Hide me, oh. I don't want to see the face of this man. For you not to see his anger is for you to walk by him now. Because already you can't you can't look at his face. You can't even stand by him because his feet alone is a bony flame. That is how the Bible describes him. His eyes you can't behold. It's like the sun. The heat, it's like the heat of the sun. So how can you face that man when he stands to judge? What do you all tell him? That he should forgive you? For after a series of messages, series of Tell you to change. I made your ways. I made your ways. I made your ways. Serious. You go to tell him that he should forgive you. That time it may, too, it may be too late. For the great. Among you will survive it. For the great day of their wrath has come. Who is able to survive? Check your works and check your hands. Church, listen to me. There's a way you do things and it will be genuine before God and before man. Are you talking about business? There are ways you do business it will be genuine before God and genuine before man.
So that business of craftiness, heaven is against it and God is against it. There's a ways you live your life, it becomes genuine before God and genuine before man. Church, listen to me. Not be everybody will play wayo for business. They make a pass. They are legitimate business that God will also bless beyond your expectation. People outside will call you for a ritual, but to you, you know that you are not a ritualist and the business is genuine. Who they do one? Now only God they feed one. 